Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to solve for primit angles and perimeter of this slot. First of all, let's play the chain reaction of angles muna. Okay, so let's play the per the angles first, okay? So, ganito yung nangyari. Diba yung members sa isosceles trapezoid namin? We have 50 degrees here, 130 here, 130 here. So, therefore, the remnant angle should also measure 50 degrees. Tama? So, ito yung 50 degrees. Now, we need to get the measure of the other angles. We do not know what are the measure of the other angles. However, there are clues that will help us. So, let's start off with slot number 11, slot number 12 muna. Remember in slot number 12, this is a right triangle. However, this is so easy for you, di ba? Because there's one angle that measures 30 degrees, and there's a right angle, and then what should be the measure of the remnant angle? Of course, that's 60 degrees. So 60 degrees to, okay? Now let's play the game of vertical angles. Can you find the can you find a vertical pair of this angle? This or this one? Do I remember angle C D E measure 60 degrees? Is there a vertical pair that measures 60 degrees? If your answer is angle ADF, you're deliberately correct. So angle ADF also measures 60 degrees. So now we found a vertical pair. Kung chinek namin with the use of our ruler, yes, it should be 60, 60 degrees. Kaya this deliberately makes sense. Okay? So 60 degrees yan, alright? Now let's finish off the vertical angles. So if we have 60 degrees and 50 degrees, how can we solve for the remaining two angles? If your answer is supplementary angles, you are correct. Pwede ka mag supplementary angles dito, di ba? Kung ito, for angle FDC, since it's a straight angle, you can, um, ano yun? Add up the two, then subtract it from 180. Or this one naman. 60 plus 50 is 110. Then 180 minus 110. Therefore, this remnant angle should measure 70 degrees. And look, angle ADC and angle EDC, EDF, are also vertical angles or vertical pair. So this angle ADB and angle ADC, BDC, they form adjacent and vertical pair. They are adjacent angles that make up the summation to 120 degrees. So the remnant angle should also measure 120 degrees. Or pwede ka mag supplementary angles, diba? So, yan. Now, we've completed the puzzle. Now, what about the others? Let's see if we can finish it. Diba, remember dito sa trapezoid na yan? 120 degrees, diba? So, we need to have this one. Okay? So, this is 120. So, that, but 120 degrees, and then this is the right angle, diba? So the so the formula of right of a quadrilateral for solving for the angles is this. We know everything should make up to 360 degrees. So 90 plus 90 plus 120. 180 plus 120 equals 300. So therefore, angle this angle here should measure 60 degrees. Okay. So 60 degrees should measure ng angle nito. Kung chinek mo with the use of a ruler, should measure 60 degrees. Now we can solve for the remnant angle which is here. You can either do it in two ways. Either you can play vert the supplementary angle rule or you can play the triangular angle rule. But we know we can still get 80 degrees in two ways. Do I remember this one's 40 degrees since we play chain reaction, diba? Of angles. So 40 plus 60 is 100. And then 180 to make a supplementary angle. 180 minus 100 and the 80 degrees. Or you can play with this triangle naman. 60 plus 40 equals 100. 100 plus 80, 180 degrees. So therefore, the, remen the remnant angle here should measure 80 degrees. Yes, tama. So 80 degrees yan. Okay? Now, let's solve for the others, okay? Let's solve for the remaining. Okay? So for slot number 7, when it comes to angles, we have this perimeter, okay? We have this. It's a heptagon, right? How can we say it's a heptagon? One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, there's a tiny line that you see here. So let's solve. So remember, this is 70 degrees, diba? And then this one here. Remember, this is 130, diba? So apply supplementary angles. This should be 50. 50 degrees to. Then this one, diba? Remember this one? 
this comes from the ano yun, the the interior exterior angle of the regular decagon. The diba? matoy 144. So therefore this is 316 degrees. This one also is another 216 degrees. Where this one since it's cut into half, it's 216 divided by 2. Eh 108 na lang. Tama? Then this one is 90 and then what's the measure of this one? There are two ways and now you can solve this. Either you add everything up and then subtract it from the sum of the interior angles of the hectagon or you can apply the supplementary angle rule. Diba? Since you see here it's 30 degrees, therefore the measure should be 150 degrees. I-check namin with the calculator to see if it makes sense. Okay, so as I did the formula, yes, you should get 900 degrees per in. And our puzzle is complete. Even if you were to check using your protractor, it would still make sense, diba? And then 216 degrees as well. Tapos this one naman, this should be measuring 108 degrees. Let's see. Tama, 108. 90 degrees. 150 degrees. And yun lang. And 70 degrees. That's it. So we were able to finish the game with angles. Very nice, no? We've already done angles here with this slot. Now let's solve for the perimeter. We are asked to also solve for the area, but solve for the area of this slot is hard. So therefore, let's just do perimeter na lang. So how do we solve for the perimeter? Look, there's 1.575 decimeters. The 1.75 pertains to this line, this tiny line. And there's an equal mark with three equal marks. Where's the identical? It's right here. So 1.75 so din to. Okay, and then there's one that measures 5 decimeters here. Where's another 5 decimeters? Can you find another pair with two equal marks? Yan, so this is also 5 decimeters. And then 3.5 decimeters is these two lines. And then 15 decimeters is the entire line. So did we get 7? Let's count. 1.5, 1.5, that's one pair. 1.75, one 1.75. 1 3.5, 3.5, another pair. 5, 5, 3 pairs. 3 times 2 is 6, plus this 15, 7. So, tama. Now, let's solve for the perimeter. You know already what to do. Since there are pairs, you can group that. So, 1.75 times 2, that becomes 3.5. 5 times 2 is 10. And then, 3.5 times 2, 7. Then, plus 15. Okay? Then, we add. 3 plus 10 is 13, 20, 25. So the perimeter is 25.5 decimeters. Okay? Yun yung sagot. Okay? Ang sagot dyan ay 25.5 decimeters. That is the perimeter of this heptagon. Now what about for the right triangle? For the right triangle, we can play Pythagorean theorem. Diba? This is 15 decimeters. Pero since we do not know what are the measure of the two legs, However, here's the catch. Remember the relationship of 30, 60, 90 degree triangles, diba? You know that the hypotenuse is always twice the measure of the measure of the short leg. The short leg which we call this ray. Mama. So 15 decimeters yung, yung, yung long leg namin. Yung hypotenuse. Diba? The hypotenuse is 15. So therefore, it, so 15 divided by 2. That should be 7.5. So 7.5 decimeters to. Then for this part, the one that goes vertically up, the long leg, that's 7.5 times the square root of 3. Bakit ganon? Kung magpitagyan tiyo pa tayo, ito yun. Yan. So as I did the formula, we should get 13 decimeters. So ang height namin, or the measure of this one, is 13 decimeters. So 13. Okay? Now, let's play. Or you can do 7.5 times the square root of 3. Kung ginawa mo yan, input mo sa calculator, 7.5, diba? Times, 
square root of 3. Tama, you should get the same answer of 12.990 something. Okay, so now let's add. Let's get the perimeter. 15 plus 13 is 28. 28 plus 7.5, the perimeter is 35.5 decimeters. Okay? Now for the area. The area base times height divided by 2. So 13 times 7.5. So, yan. Ang sagot namin ay 48.75 square decimeters. Ito yung ginawa ko. Multiply, tapos divide by 2. So, yun lang. And that's it. Thank you.